David Kahn here with another question from 5.2. We're going to be solving problems involving potential difference, current, charge, Kirchhoff circuit laws, power, resistivity, and resistance. In this question, we have two circuits, X and Y, and they have the same EMF, so the, the voltage coming out of each of these cells is the same, and zero internal resistance, so the external properties of the circuit will have no effect on the voltage coming out. The resistors all have the same resistance, so let's call them all R. R, 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 and R. We want to know what's the ratio between the power dissipated in circuit X and the power dissipated in circuit Y. So we want power in X divided by power in Y. Power can be computed in a number of different ways. Voltage times current current times R resistance squared, voltage divided by resistance squared. But let's take a look at what we know. We know they have the same resistance V, or sorry, the same voltage V, and we know a lot about the resistances. So the wise choice would probably be voltage and resistance. Oh, sorry, V squared on R for power. So V squared on R and V squared on R. But the resistances aren't the same. These are the equivalent resistances of the circuit. So voltage V is dissipated across equivalent resistance Rx, and voltage V is, is dissipated across equivalent resistance Ry. So we need to find the total resistance of circuit Y and the total resistance of circuit X. The first thing that happens is V squared cancels with V squared, and we get 1 on Rx over 1 on Ry, which turns into Ry on our x. y goes on the top, x goes on the bottom. It's like a double flip. So what I'd like to do now is find those two equivalent resistances. For resistance y, it's pretty straightforward because y is a series circuit. It's just the sum of the two resistors, and that'll be 2r. For circuit x, these are parallel circuits. The formula for equivalent resistance and parallel circuits is that 1 over the equivalent resistance is the sum of 1 over the resistance of each resistor. So this gives me Ry and 1 on Rx, which is actually OK. I don't really need to flip this equation because I'm dividing by Rx. So this is the same as Ry times 1 on Rx, which is the same thing that I have here. That gives me 2R times 1 on R plus 1 on R. Next step is to distribute into the brackets. And that'll give me 2R on R plus 2R on R. Canceling all those R's gives me 2 plus 2, or 4. That's sort of the hard way to solve the problem. The easier way is ju just to get to this point and recognize that since these are the same resistors, this will be twice the resistance and this will be half the resistance. If you put two equivalent resistors in series, it's always half the resistance of either one. So if you have something that's twice as large divided by something that's half as large, it's a factor of two divided by a factor of a half, that's a factor of four. 